this will become easier. What I don't want you guys to do, and this is what typically happens, is that people are afraid of curves and then they start doing this. They just go in little segments or even worse, they go in these little segments. That's not drawing right and each anchor point adds to the file size inside of Illustrator and it'll become unmanageable at one point. So really put yourself out there, be courageous and try to pull these anchor points. Okay. All right. So I gave you lots and lots of letters to practice on. If you are ever wondering how these letters were drawn, even though it's the computer who did this automatically, you can unlock these little layers here, use your direct selection tool. And <laughs> exactly what I said not to do seems to be the case for this crazy font right here, which is totally unnecessary. Let me just prove my point. We have actually a short, uh, it's a plugin. So you don't have this unless you purchase this. Um, it's called, I'm blanking on this right now. So, okay, here we go. So the smart remove brush and let me just check some options here. Okay. So here you can see that the shape stays the same, even though I'm removing all these anchor points. So really it's so unnecessary. <laughs> um, I changed a little bit too much on the bottom, but you can see how somebody just went a little crazy here. The other font, shouldn't be that bad. Do you guys see how little anchor points are? This is a good example. <laughs> Teaching moment. This is a bad example. So this little tool here, the Smart Remove Brush is actually from Astute Graphics and it comes with their plugin. And um, unfortunately, I just got it. So I really don't know too much about it, but I really had to try this out because I run into some scenarios sometimes for different reasons where I need to remove a lot of these crazy anchor points. So people get paid to do that. <laughs> now there's a tool for it. Okay. All right. Let's practice just our basic pen tool and then let's move on. 